from the annual boat show in October, few events are as quintessentially Annapolis as the graduation ceremony of the US Naval Academy, which takes over life in the city over the course of an entire week known as Commissioning Week. For this occasion, thousands of midshipmen's families flock to the western shores of the Chesapeake Bay from all corners of the country to attend the graduation ceremony of their loved ones. This event is so significant that the commencement speech is oftentimes given by the President, Vice President or Secretary of Defense of the United States. Commissioning Week is also marked by a lot of interesting traditions, such as the Herndon Monument Climb, during which first-year midshipmen climb a 21-foot granite obelisk covered in grease to replace a hat at its top. Another Commissioning Week tradition in which all Annapolitans participate, whether it is voluntary or not. Ladies and gentlemen, the Navy's Precision Flight Demonstration Squadron, the Blue Angels, Every year in May, the Blue Angels team come to town to celebrate the Naval Academy graduation, and as a resident, you get to admire them perform over the course of three occasions. The day of their rehearsal, during the show itself, and one last time as they fly over the Naval Academy to close the graduation ceremony. Last week, I could hear them rehearse from our house as I was trying to edit, and because lately my workload had been significant, I thought about skipping the event until next year. But the weather was nice, and my friend Greg reminded me that this would be an opportunity to make a really awesome video. So thanks to Greg today, I am taking you with me to participate in one of the most anticipated events of the year in my new city of Annapolis. And before we get on board, I want to thank the sponsor of this video, Vesti. We are getting into the summer here in Maryland, but you wouldn't necessarily be able to tell every day. But thanks to Vesti, we've been keeping ourselves completely dry. Vesti shoes are slip on, slip off, super comfortable and 100% waterproof, even in the worst Maryland spring weather. In the last few months, I have been wearing the Stormburst Low Top, which has been my favorite pair of white sneakers, as well as my weekend Chelsea's in brown. But every day, I find myself reaching for my pair of black weekends when I go out to walk Barnacle. On his side, Ryan has been sporting his Vessies for over a year now. And if you know him, you would know that before Vessie entered his life, he had been buying the exact same pair of shoes for 10 years. Yeah, so him switching to a pair of everyday classic is a pretty big deal. And it will be interesting to see how many pairs of those he goes through in the coming decade. These are supposed to be waterproof shoes, and they were. This is us at the Big Little Boat Festival on the eastern shore of the Chesapeake Bay, where DIY boat builders gather to take their boats on the water and, surprise, it rained. But I had my Vesi overcast rain jacket, which I love because the lining material in the hood and the pockets is so soft, as well as my Astoria backpack. Lately, I've been using my Vesi backpack to carry all of my camera equipment. Now, I don't think that it was specifically designed to be a camera bag, but it has all the pockets that I need for my laptop, camera, lenses, accessories, wallet, keys, you name it. It keeps everything dry and I love its design. It's probably the best looking backpack I've ever owned. So I have been using it as my go-to camera bag and it actually matters in the context of the story I'm about to tell you in this video. But before we get to it, if you would also like your own pair of Vessi or the perfect backpack or rain jacket, head over to vessi.com slash Sophie to grab 15% off your order. And now back to the story and how my backpack, oh uh, well, y you'll see. The Blue Angels started in 1946 as a demonstration team to boost morale and post-war recruitment efforts and to ensure that the public would not forget the air branch of the Navy. Back then, they were known as the Navy Flight Exhibition Team, but the name wasn't very catchy. So they set up to find a new one and ask the members of the team to come up with something better. Names such as Skydancers and Navy Blue Lancers were suggested, but meh. Now at the time, the team was about to head to New York to perform, and one of them was browsing the New Yorker magazine to look for places they could visit during their stay. And that's when they came across an ad for the Blue Angels Supper Club, and the rest is history. So yeah, while they are officially known as the US Navy Flight Demonstration Squadron, the Blue Angels name comes from an old New York nightclub. Since then, the Blue Angels have continued to perform at numerous air shows across the United States and internationally. These days, the emblematic blue and yellow colors of the Blue Angels team is a symbol of pride that is deeply embedded in American culture and identity. Which, funny enough, I get reminded of every time I go to the supermarket. Why you ask? That's because when I drive there, I pass by the Navy Stadium and there is one of the team's old F-18 Hornet there. And yes, the team flies Boeing. 
Since 2020, the Blue Angels fly a Boeing FA-18 Super Hornet, and so far, no mid-flight door incident has been reported. But I digress, let's get to the show. Just the same way that you are never far away from a Blue Angels aircraft in Annapolis, you are never far from an opportunity to get on a boat. Which is a good thing, because the best place to watch the show is from the water in Annapolis Harbor. The show starts at 2 p.m. But because most people in town own at least one boat and a lot of people navigate their boat to Annapolis to watch the show, we need to leave the dock before 10 a.m. to secure a good spot. Which we couldn't do because yours truly, upon arrival to the dock, realized that she had forgotten the backpack that contained all of the camera equipment at home and I had to run back to pick it up and that's an hour of my life that I will never get back. So if you've been following this channel for a while and asked yourself, wow, Sophie, that is a lot of voiceover you're doing this time around, well, that's because until this very moment, I did not have a camera. Man, we're, we're digressing a lot today. The ride from Back Creek to Annapolis Harbor takes us around Eastport, which is our favorite neighborhood in Annapolis and the place where Polly Seal is docked. And if you were also wondering, well, um, why are you not taking your own boat and uh, where is Ryan? This is the moment where I tell you that uh, half of Polly Seal's impeller is somewhere to be retrieved in a heat exchanger and Ryan is currently somewhere between Bermuda and the Azores on board a friend's boat. Plus, Greg has a selection of rum on tap on his boat, so this was clearly the better choice. We have rum on tap in this boat. It's very inspiring. So you have Bacardi, Sailor, Tito's, Gin and Tequila. How drunk are you playing in Getty? No, I'm making rum swizzle for everybody. There you go, guys. Cheers. Cheers. When we arrive, Annapolis Harbor is already getting packed, and the imbroglio of boat crowd, powerboat wakes, wind and currents make it challenging to secure a good spot and drop the anchor. All right, so now the fun times begin. We need to find a spot among the crowd. And this is absolutely packed. We're almost, are we late? Did yes. we, are we late? Yes. It's my fault. <laughs> oh, and those, those, those people really will need to. So because this is such a big event and so many people want to come to Annapolis on their boat, there's a lot of people who don't necessarily know what they are doing and then have to navigate in a really, really crowded space. So obviously some uh, pretty stupid things happen. But finally, at 10.30 a.m., the anchor is set, the engine is off, and all kind of shows are about to get started. Made it! Made it. Dropped anchor, got a good spot. So this, right. is, um, this is basically the center line because they're performing for the Naval Academy right there. So they, the performance is basically right down this line. That's why there's like a small V here and a small V here, and we're at the tip. That means we are the center line for everything they're doing, right? Like we are at the tip of the arrow right now. This is by far the best spot to be on uh, on this day. You can go way over there, it's a pretty good show. You can go over there, it's uh, a little weak. This is a clusterfuck. Yeah, it is a clusterfuck. So right now everybody is coming in and uh, especially the motorboats, like literally every powerboat around the Chesapeake is coming to Annapolis today. And there's a lot of wake, right? A lot of wake. If they can. This is madness. Uh, also, in those moments, it is really difficult not to be very biased against the power boaters. And I'm not talking about the little power boats, I'm talking about the giant, flashy power boats who blast obnoxious music for everybody to, I wouldn't call it enjoy. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. And before I get a slew of but it's not all power boaters in the comment section. Yes, I know. There are power boaters out there who know to slow down their boat when they pass 30 feet of you and know about both safety and sobriety at sea. Power boaters who do not force everyone within a mile of their boat to listen to God bless America on repeat for an hour. Power boaters who never feared being faced 
with the double threat of confused sharks and big batteries. I know you are out there, I just haven't met you yet. I think that uh, the abundance of alcohol uh, flowing around the boat have uh, given some people a little too much confidence in their music taste. All right, so it is almost 2 p.m. I have procured the most important item for the day. There's been quite a bit of alcohol uh, on board those four boats. The playlist is getting increasingly and I didn't think that it would be possible to uh, fit more boats around us, but I was wrong. This is wild. At 2 p.m. sharp, Fat Albert, the C-130J Hercules Blue Angel Sport aircraft, makes a flyover. And that is our goal, to put the earplugs in. Let's go! And so it begins. Loops, barrel rolls, low passes, and other whiplash inducing stunts, the six Blue Angels aircraft gather for a final salute to the Naval Academy graduates and soon thereafter disappear in the horizon. As you may have gathered by now, today I am trying to learn more about American traditions. And nothing tops up a culturally important American moment better than a party on boats complete with red solo cups and college drinking games. And this is when I need to come clean to you and, and admit that uh, no, I have never played flip cup or beer pong. Today I feel worthy of my green card. I will not lie, so much cultural integration can really take a toll on a person, and especially when subjected to the potency of a red solo cup. And after a day full of new experiences and obviously zero alcohol, it is time to enjoy the fact that I do not have to captain the boat that will take me back to the dock, where I, I may or may not need a set of dry clothes. As always, thank you for watching this video that may have required an ibuprofen or 10 to get to. And don't forget to subscribe for more American cultural integration on the water, and I will see you soon for more adventures. And at the pace those videos are edited, it may be 4th of July by the time I get to it, and uh, well, I don't know about you, but uh, I'm looking forward to it.